Hi there, beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. It is time for us to tackle another envelope for my 16-year-old daughter's very first binder. So thank you for being here. Click that subscribe button, like the video, and let's go. Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing good. Before we get started in this video, let me go ahead and grab today's prompt -a card. If you're new to my videos, this is a prompt -a card. It's basically a conversation starter. So I'll ask and answer the question on the card in this video and you guys can put your answers in the comments below. It's just a little something to help us get to know each other better. So today's prompt -a card is, what made you smile today? Oh, that's a cute one. Since it's relatively early for me today, I'm going to say it's my puppy. <laughs> I have a Dotson, a long-haired Dotson. He is old. He's like 10 and stubborn. The older he gets, the more stubborn he is. And every morning I let him out while I'm having my cup of coffee and he just goes and uses the restroom and he does his thing. And then he always, always takes a walk down to our mailbox and I watch him. He strolls, he pees on it. And then usually he'll walk back up. But today, he decided to be adventurous and cross the road to check out the neighbor's mailbox. And once I saw that, mm-mm, mm-mm, mama wasn't having it. So I yelled at him and I said, get up here right now. And he just hobbled on as quick as his little bitty feet could. And it just, I don't know, it made me smile. But what about you guys? What made you smile today? Let me know in the comments below. All right, it is time to tackle another envelope for my daughter's binder. She's 16 years old. This is her very first one. We're doing it in a theme of an anime that she loves, which is Chainsaw Man. And she's taking a page out of her sister's book because we just finished the Attack on Titan binder that I made for her. And she wants to make it look like the manga. So a lot of these are just images that she has found that we have, you know, obviously made to be part of an envelope. And I am steadily making her envelopes look like, I guess, these are actual real images from the manga. Not sure. But we're making it be what we want it to be. So we've done three so far. We're gonna be working on the fourth one today. So let me show you what today's is gonna look like. So this is the image that she gave me for her savings envelope. If you didn't catch the very beginning of this series for her binder, we did sit down and we made a list of all the different envelopes that she would want or need in her binder and savings was one of them. So this is the image she gave to me and of course we did add the word savings into the bubble that was there. I think it's super cute. It looks like a little pet, but it's a chainsaw dog or something with, I guess, the main character of the story. So that's the image we're going to attempt to draw today. And again, I will be using some vellum paper, which is similar to tracing paper, but it's just thicker, so it's not gonna tear really easily. And as you can see, you can see right through it. So I will be taping this down on the back side here, and we're gonna trace over that using Sharpie markers and that's it. That's all we're going to be using is gray and black Sharpie markers. Now, my daughters have chosen to do this theme of making their binders look like their favorite animes and mangas, which of course is in black and white and grays. So I have just been stuck doing grays and blacks forever, I feel like. But I have a feeling that when my son comes around and I'm doing his binder, it's going to be a lot more colorful. So I'm looking forward to venturing out into some color then, but we got to get through these first. So all I do, like I said, tape this down on the tracing paper, and then I will trace over it with these markers. These are all I use. And once I'm done, I can take the image off and that image should be right here. And then I slide that image right into an envelope and I use some metallic, silver metallic cardstock that I cut down to size, which will also be inside of it so that when the image is on top of it, it has a backing. 
Otherwise, you could see right through it, of course, which is always an option, you know. Some people like to see their money, but the backing really just makes that image pop, so I like it. So that's basically all you need to know. The rest of this video will be time-lapse. I'll add a little bit of music on here to make it a little bit more entertaining as you watch me draw this image. And then at the end, we'll take a closer look and then I'll grab my daughter and let her check it out, approve it, and then put it in her binder. So enjoy this next part and I'll see you at the end. Just wish you knew. Just wish you knew. All right, we're done. So let me go ahead and grab my daughter and have her look at it. Ah. What do you think? I like it. It's cute. Mm -hmm. It looks like muffin. Yeah, I was afraid the flower was almost too fuzzy. Nope. Nope, I got it. All right, so you know what to do. I'll put the... Second in line. All right. Man, we are getting it. We are getting it. Mm -hmm. I have one more to do this month. And then I think that'll be it for this month. Until next month. Unless, unless I get some extra time. All right. All right. Okay. I like it. I'm glad you do. I love, you. I love you. All right. You heard it from the source. She likes it. Another successful envelope is done. So 
like I told her, we have one more envelope to do this month, which will be dropping on Monday. So I hope you join me then. After that, it is cash stuffings, WTF Wednesdays, constant, constant, constant. So that's going to be the rest of my month is cash stuffings and WTF Wednesdays. So um, I, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you did. I will see you on Monday. So I hope you have a great weekend. And as always, until next time. Bye.